Alright y'all, here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fix a mobile phone that just won't turn on or charge, especially if you've been gaming hard on it and, well, haven't done any maintenance in a while. This guide mainly applies to Android phones, but honestly a lot of these steps will work for iPhones too. So, you played a game, your phone died, and now it just won't turn on or charge at all. Maybe it's an older phone, and let's be real, it hasn't had any recent cleanup or maintenance. First things first, hold the power button for about 15 to 20 seconds. If the phone vibrates or shows a logo, it's not totally dead. It might just be frozen, which happens sometimes. Now grab a flashlight and shine it on the screen at an angle. If you can see a faint image, the screen backlight could be damaged. Next up, depending on your phone brand, you'll want to try a forced reboot. For most Android phones, just hold power and volume down together for about 15 to 30 seconds. If you've got a Samsung on some models, you'll need to hold power, volume up, and the Bixby or home button. If you do it right, your phone should vibrate or show the logo, which is a good sign. All right, y'all, make sure you use the original or at least a high quality charging cable and adapter. It's best to plug your phone into a wall outlet not a PC USB port. Leave it charging for at least 30 minutes, even if nothing happens right away. Keep an eye out for any signs of life, like a screen blink, a little vibration, an LED indicator, or maybe just a bit of warmth. If that didn't work, go ahead and test a different charger and USB cable, cause your old one might just be damaged. And while you're at it, clean the charging port using a toothpick or a soft brush to get rid of dust and lint. A burst of compressed air can help too, if you've got it handy. Oh, and don't forget to check for any bent pins in the USB port. Now, if your phone has a removable battery, here's what you do. Take the battery out and wait about a minute, then reinsert it and plug in the charger. After that, try turning it on and see if it springs back to life. Go ahead and plug the phone into a PC using a USB cable. If your PC recognizes it, even just a little, that means the phone might still be alive and probably just needs a screen or battery repair. Now hold the power button plus volume up, or on some phones, it's power plus volume down. If recovery mode pops up, you'll wanna navigate using the volume buttons. Choose reboot system now. And hey, if you see the option, don't do a factory reset unless you've already backed up your data. If your phone gets warm after charging, it might just be overheating from gaming or, you know, maybe some dust buildup inside. Let it cool off completely before doing anything else. If you can open the back, go ahead and clean out any dust using a soft brush. That little bit of cleaning can really help keep things running smoothly. Now, if there are still no signs of life, even after trying new cables and charging for, say, an hour, it might be time to call in the pros. If your phone gets way too hot while charging, the battery looks swollen or the screen is lifting up, those are big red flags. And if the charging port feels loose or wobbly, honestly, that's another sign you need some professional help. So if you do manage to turn it on, make sure you back up your data right away. It's always a good idea. Uninstall any apps you don't use and clear out the cache. For cleaning tools on Android, you can use CCleaner or Files by Google. If you're on an iPhone, try offloading unused apps through Settings General and then iPhone Storage. Keeping things tidy just helps your phone run better and last longer. All right, let's do a quick recap. Step one, try a long press or force restart. Step two, charge with a reliable charger. Step three, clean the charging port. Step four, try another cable or outlet. Step five, remove the battery if that's possible. Step six, try recovery mode. Step 7, connect to your PC. And finally, step 8, check for overheating or hardware damage. Just follow these steps and you'll give your phone the best shot at bouncing back.